You know I'm striving for your truth, and you put things in front of me that overwhelm me sometimes. This is one. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. And what he found out is that the opening phrase of the Bible was was messed with, completely messed with. We all believe and we read the opening text of the Bible that says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Well, he found out when he was still a student, I believe, that the original Hebrew text was messed with. And that to do that is very difficult because you should know by now that the Hebrew texts and the, the scholars that write that it's all a mathematical formula. So there's, you know, you, it's very difficult to cheat. It, it has to have so many letters across and phrases and they cross reference it. So you can figure out very quickly if somebody missed with one of these phrases and these paragraphs. And yet they pull this off. This is what boggles my mind. How could they have pulled this off to lie about it? And he shows that the original Hebrew text uh, begins with the letter B, Beth. At the moment, the, the Bible starts that says, Barashid bara Elohim et ha shamayim wa et ha'iaris. Ba, it starts with Ba. The second letter of the alphabet. It's not possible because all, all Hebrew sacred texts must begin with the first letter of the alphabet, which is A or Aleph. So somebody messed that up. It's not possible. So, so at the moment, it doesn't make any grammatical sense, actually. It's a non-grammatical, incorrect sentence, grammatically incorrect sentence. For any Hebrew-speaking people here, you'll know what I mean. And, and it refers to Elohim here as the gods, but it doesn't make any sense. So when he added A or Aleph, suddenly it says, Abba Rashid bara Elohim et ha shamayim wa et ha which means the father of the beginnings created the Elohim, the heavens and the earth. The father of the beginnings created the Elohim, the heavens and the earth. And suddenly the Elohim no longer is God or the plural of gods as we perceive it from the incorrect first statement of the Bible. Now, if they could pull that off and lie to us about that, they can bloody pull off anything. Uh, there are three holy cows of our education system that I love to talk about. And these three holy cows that many people find untouchable are that we evolved out of apes. Nothing can travel faster than the speed of light and energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be converted from one form to another. Now, if you mention these in any kind of scientific debate with professors and very clever people from universities, they'll all sit and nod and argue. Yes, absolutely. That's how this whole bull 